Welcome back to my channel guys. New video, new exploration of a huge complex that was owned by one of the most famous cars designers of all times. It's not been easy to find a safe spot to leave our car because the complex was located at the cross section between a big motorway and the main road where we found a police roadblock. Luckily we found a dirt road that led us behind the complex. The first mission was to find how to safely get in without being noticed by impossible passengers by or farmers that own the crops near the complex. The excitement grew at every step and not knowing what's gonna come made the exploration more exciting. One of the main rules in urban exploration is see without being seen. We actually didn't know if someone was living inside or there were other visitors. Have a good strategy, always keep you safer. We kept walking around the perimeter in order to find an easy access. The forest around the complex is dope green and since that those dirt roads are pretty accessible we found tons of trash around. Finally we found the passage below the border walls and we safely snuck in through the hole. Another rule that we always follow is always explore the border of the complex in order to see if there's someone's activity in the main buildings and possibly find a secondary way out before getting to the core of the exploration. Better be safe than sorry. Don't you agree? The first compound we encountered was just a very small warehouse where they were storing random things. Plus, it seems that robbers used to go there to check their loot. Definitely the kind of category we don't want to meet in these cases. The second building that was between the border walls and one of the main buildings was a kind of workshop. Lots of motor oil on the floor with a pungent smell and tons of random things everywhere. Lots of memories were hidden in that place. to another building and it was a water plant. The entire water system looked new way beyond our expectations. This big industry has been closed 10 years ago, but we didn't expect to find machineries and structures in good condition like this. The fourth building was a small power plant with a huge engine that has been scavenged in order to get what could have been sold in the black market. 
It's a common aspect that we see every time we explore this kind of abandoned buildings. Finally, we got into the first main building, but unfortunately it was just a huge empty space and we didn't find any evidence that could lead us to what that building was for. But a manhole drew our attention. We opened it, but the inner part was too small for us, so we moved on to another section. Another huge space with some machineries, all computers and several fire extinguishers. I think someone had some fun with them. I think that these machineries were used to check the functionality of the new cars built before going on to further tests. I don't know, I'm not definitely a car expert. If anyone know what these were used for, please let me know in the comment. Thank you guys. There was an office in the upper part of the complex that was scavenged. Hey, I'm definitely not surprised. Copper is one of the most wanted materials on the black market. It's very expensive and way more expensive these days due to the pandemic. This was the coating plant, where the raw steel car surface was transformed into a shiny smooth polished jewel in order to please the human eyes. Lots of machinery has been taken away, but we can all imagine how much work has been done during the golden era of this place. This was a big warehouse where they were storing all the possible electronic parts and consumable that could be helpful for making and maintaining the production system active.
There were also a big library full of catalogs of any sort. I spend a little of my time flipping through those catalogs. Actually, I love catalogs. I don't know how many object has been left in this place. Every piece has a history to tell, every piece had its role in the past. We moved to another huge warehouse that looked so mean to us. And in the upper level we found an office where we could rest and be safe because it was definitely a vantage point in order to observe and be aware if someone would have come. Meanwhile, we've started to explore the core of this huge complex, where all the big production took place. No rust, Everything was like new with shiny colors. That's incredible. Before to keep exploring, we decided to go back to our safe room. We needed to rest a little bit. You know what I really love about the adventure? It teaches you to feel at home no matter where you are, or in what condition you find yourself, or how tired you are, or how dirt you can be. You always have that small sense of comfort that can be enough to feel at home. If you are blessed to live the adventure with a brother of yours, nothing can steal from you your balance. A balance that allows you to rest, to think and to keep enjoying your journey. After a bit of rest, some coffee and a beef jerky, we went back to explore the rest of the core of this industry, following the entire chain of production. All the structures left were so mean that we didn't understand why someone could left them there. But I think that what I often hear is, business is a business. 
And I'm sure that the people who work there with dedication weren't part of the business equation. What do you think, dear friends, about this matter? Let me know in a comment. Before we got outside from the complex, we saw a bird flying at full speed against the window. He was desperately trying to get out from that place. Frank managed to grab it and we brought it outside where he happily flew away towards freedom. We've done our part and this small gesture made us proud. That's it for today guys, hope you enjoyed the explorations and see you in the next video, bye! Frank and myself truly hope you enjoyed this video, smash the like button and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video, take care you all!